let's talk about it just briefly because I don't I don't, know, I don't really know the details and I think it's, it gets a bit weird talking about women stuff on here because you know I'm not a woman and I have no experience about what they're actually going through especially when it comes to scene industry shit in it but let's try and tackle this so um it seems like you know with lockdown there seems to be a prevalence of uh men in the entertainment industry being exposed uh for some sort of you know sexual abuse sexual assault uh i don't know manipulation whatever men are in you know men are in some hot bother especially the ones that have been operating in the shadows i guess because people have been you know they're not around they're not out and about you've got time to ruminate think about what that person did wrong to you and then of course in the case of crystalia you know the girl was sitting at home bored watching you and she had no idea he was on the show and she started like ranting on social and then suddenly it completely blows up so it's um it's a rough time to be a dude if you have been shit to women over the last few years isn't it and another good example of this is this lady called ray black who i'm not very familiar with i have to be completely honest but she came out on social and essentially um let everybody know that a uk rapper called ambush allegedly um did some things to her that were not that appropriate and it got me thinking right it got me thinking why is it that in the entertainment world specifically why is there such a maybe maybe it's a wrong question to ask but it seems that there's a real lack of gentlemen in that scene especially considering the abundance of attractive women that exist in that scene that are single and ready to mingle right it's not as if there's a lot of frigid girls in the sort of entertainment music scene right they're all trying to make it they've all got dreams and hopes and desires and they're all very much aware of the industry they're in right they're aware of how superficial it is how shallow it is and they don't mind playing a game just be nice isn't it so that's the thing that's always kind of disturbing when you hear these stories especially when it's especially when it has to do with people that work with are in the same field right singer rapper rapper singer, rapper like they said you know, you're doing the same thing so there should be a bit of a brotherhood for lack of a better term right um that must exist right it's sort of like kinship uh support system right because you're all artists you know what you're going through again it's it's a bit of a um idealistic way to look at things i'm sure if you're a successful person you don't want to be hanging around with someone that's just on the come up trying to make it because they might you know damn your they might kind of um ruin your vibe and shit but in general there should be a little bit more camaraderie and i guess this is what makes this story a bit hurtful because it seems like one person was treated as less than that and the other person was putting themselves on a pole on a sort of like you know above on a pulpit or something looking down so there's this weird sort of power dynamic going on but again just read just kind of read the story in a minute but just why is there such a lack of gentlemen man if you're single and out there doing your thing and you're a dude why can't you just be cool to girls so that they can you know have good things that's the thing i wonder especially in the uk scene i'd imagine it's you know with uh, us living on a small island i'd imagine the scene's pretty small too so word gets around if you're a douchebag so wouldn't you want your name to ring out in a good way so that when you're spoken about people speak about you in a way that oh it's such a great experience i'm gutted i couldn't make it work out um blah, i don't know whatever something along those lines as opposed to like oh this guy you know groped me whilst i was walking through a busy fucking convention somewhere as this story kind of points out allegedly of course you know because you know don't want to get in trouble but hey this is a tweet so this is from uh this lady called ray black said i changed my mind time's up first screenshot says uh please read this message in its entirety to understand the context of this event which we intend to do oops get it up here again context of this event um in february i attended a amazing youtube event to bring the culture together which was sadly ruined when i was sexually assaulted by ambush world uh that is a that the shooting right she you know came out hot um previously i met ambush only on one occasion very briefly where a friend introduced me to him and we said hi very casually and quickly and although he was very clearly undressing me with his eyes during this but i thought nothing of it because i have no problem with somebody looking at me and finding me attractive however that was the extent of our conversation slash meeting slash dialogue i have ever had with ambush so i guess that's already a, a warning sign if you're a girl maybe right i guess you'll just probably be caught off guard but that's already a big red flag if you meet someone the first time and it's just pure it's just like you know keen ignition and it's just pure sex at the beginning 
there's probably a reason there's probably a, a good reason for you to stay away right or to kind of be on your p's and q's um again especially a scene event we're not talking about somebody meeting somebody in a club right and being introduced as oh this is my girl yeah i told you about her right and you're not really hearing it properly and just looking at her you you got you got a few bevies in you you're just trying to be a you know rico suave that's one thing but to be you know introduced to somebody at an event that's to do with the industry that's to do with music and to do with you know bringing artists together and shit you would expect to be a little bit more i don't know professionalism right a little bit more tact towards it if you're gonna undress it with your eyes maybe have some glasses on i don't know just something to kind of make the experience as less awkward as it may, as it can be possible but i guess in the eyes of somebody like him right who's doing the looking and the eye undressing i guess from a boy point of view maybe he just expected it to work because it always worked right maybe that whole move undressing with your eyes next time i see you it's on tops that works for some people but then he um, unfortunately met a girl that wasn't about that life and didn't want any, you know, just completely nonplussed about him. So it continues. It says, the next time I saw him, I was at this YouTube event. I was hanging my coat up when he entered. And when I said hi to him, he said hi and then proceeded to aggressively grab and shake my breast saying, Ra, you look nice. And carried on walking away, which is an insane thing to do. And again, I just... It beggars belief just how shit, like, you know, similar to the Chris D'Elia story of, like, you know, it was a well-known fact with Chris D'Elia that he was a bit of a ladies' man, right? Which is odd as well, considering in the, which is, like, you know, it was an odd thing, especially in the com in the stand-up comedy world. Most stand-up comedians, um, you know, they don't look like Chris D'Elia, right? They just look like dudes. So um, you generally have a, a heavily male audience, right? mostly middle age but you don't really get like crystal ear fans which happen to be you know instagram girls from the age of like 17 18 to like you know 25 that's not really a thing that most comedians get so there should be no excuse for him trying to solicit younger girls than that because he's already got quite young girls coming up to him after the show quite clearly wanting to suck his pee pee right it's a thing he does so i guess in this case, if you're this rapper, you would assume there's some level of clout in the same way that influencers get, you know, propositioned by shitty headphone brands to promote them on their feed. There has to there has to exist a group of girls out there, if that's what you're interested in, who just, you know, who just going to get with you regardless, just because they saw you on fucking the internet. That must exist as well. So that should satiate, that should sort of um, appease some of your lustful desires. You shouldn't be that horny, really, should you? That's what I mean, basically. Should you be that horny, that active? Especially with somebody who's quite clearly wanting to be your peer. They don't want to be like, a, I don't know. From what she's saying, there wasn't any flirting before. It was just like, you know, I met you. I'm an artist. You're an artist. We're in a scene. I'm in a scene. And then it just escalates. Especially to that extent. It's just like so brazen. It's un Which kind of makes you wonder as well, is he behind the scenes being enabled like is that sort of thing that happens everywhere because for real, for sure if that was one of my friends and i happen to see that like i'd have a word do you know what i mean that's not something that i'd be cool with or be laughing about i think that's funny so maybe in that circle of people it's sort of a thing that gets done i don't know um it continues it says i was shocked and taken back i wasn't even sure what uh, i thought would happen what i thought happened was real so I walked back to him, generally thinking, surely that didn't happen. And I asked him, hey, did you just grab my breast over there? To which he replied, what can I, what can I, uh, what can I say? I saw your breasts and they were looking nice. Jesus Christus. At that point, my blood was boiling and I realized if I addressed this in the manner I wanted to right there, I would have turned into, I would turn that incredible positive YouTube event completely upside down. Not wanting to be painless and aggressive or crazy black woman to people who has zero context, I decided to walk away. So I did. So I said, okay, tomorrow we'll talk about this. That's happened too often, isn't it? Especially with black people in the entertainment world, man. How many times have I been, well, a couple of times I've had, I've had some skirmishes, right? I've had some flare-ups where someone's tried to like stick it on me or try and be aggressive then i've had to answer back but unfortunately those scenarios as she's mentioning no one sees the context especially because i get when i you know when i flip I, I i don't really have a kind of a, a lever to kind of pull me back that easily so whenever someone's walking past and see me getting aggressive and really getting irate 
I just look at the crazy dude that's just starting on people, right? I look at the aggressor and, put, and I'm a bigger guy. So it just, it doesn't come across well. The optics are never good. It's either you just wash the guy quickly, right? When no one sees, right? A quick couple slap, bam, bam, bang, and just get the job done. Or you just walk away and sort of like have your ego get dented. So I guess that's one part of it, right? You have to somehow dismiss or put your ego to one side, which I guess women are a lot easier, a lot better at doing than men right they can sort of like put their ego to one side and sort of like you know sort of the temporary temporary embarrassment and then as per this text or this sort of um note they're able to like sort of the temporary embarrassment and then get you back double or triple fold later on down the line you know as a, as was the bible says um no vengeance there's nothing like a woman scorned she's not really scorned but you know you know what i mean he continues says the next day i sent him a message telling him that what he did was totally unacceptable um to which he replied my bad i came back and told him that just wasn't good enough considering he was sexually assaulted a fellow artist he then eventually switched it up and started telling me why are you getting on me for i'm a flirty guy in it why are you saying words like that oh my god this guy um i'm not a pervert you should allow me saying to somebody you're not a pervert you should allow me is probably the quintessential thing somebody a pervert would say in it like it's like um, when people say i swear i'm telling the truth i swear my mom's life you're probably lying in it through your teeth and your mom's already dead for sure so for him to yeah it's just like i said man you'd hope there'd be like a little bit of a fraternity around artists right like not to say that you can be a scumbag to groupies as well because i don't think that's a thing especially after reading some of the books by um there's a steven tyler book i actually have at the moment which i've well, I finished probably before but an all biography steven tyler put together what's the title of it it's over there oh, i can't read it but anyway um where he saw details you know coming up in a scene and the amount of groupies they got back in a day and it was a thing with rock stars right where they purposely went to play in certain cities just so they can hook up with young girls but part of the process was to just be nice to them right so sometimes you'd return to the city and you want to meet the same girl that you were, you were with last year on tour. So it helps if you're nice to them because then by the year, by that time, by the time you come back again, there might be some new girls on the scene that they can introduce you to, right? So it kind of serves your purpose. They get to hang out with the star and you get obviously to hang out with them. So it's mutually beneficial. So I, that's why I could never understand this whole like, oh, let me just be shitty to somebody. <laughs> Treat them like dog shit um you know and have no concept of thinking you know she has friends who are also artists people that might actually have actually liked you more than she did who might want to hook up with you and then they hear this story and they just you know they completely write you off business deals that you don't have no idea that she could be connected to that could possibly be damaged by it it's just a complete shit show and just in general just human to human like come on you know what i mean um there's enough beckys in your fucking dms for you to like you know fondle and have some fun with without you know disparaging a young black woman trying to make in a scene but again what do i know it continues it says um uh i'm not a pervert you should allow me one of the worst lines ever i'd say for that one but it says uh bearing in mind i do not know this man she says even if i did there's still no excuse but before you people start victim shaming or asking what i did or what i wore bear in mind i do not know this man from anywhere we have never engaged in any flirty whoever's thinking there should be vi yeah anyway let's continue we never engaged in any uh, flirty conversational relationship nothing and he thought it was acceptable to grab in such an intimate part of my body and then get angry at me for calling him out that's a classic move in it that scumbag zoo something that you saw stevie J do a lot on, on um love and hip-hop right that ability to like and even joe budden as well in these more toxic years right where he was able to somehow um turn an accusation against him into some sort of psycho psycho analysis of the woman that was involved somehow turning the tables making them question their sanity right um it's a fucking masterful skill when you're watching it on tv but of course going through it as a woman must be fucking terrible especially when you legitimately have a grievance here right like no i felt your hands on my breasts i know you did um yeah and he's trying to convince you otherwise it must be mad um it continues here it says sadly i've not spoken about this since it happened in february because a friend who i no longer sit there a friend told me we should be practicing we should be protecting a black man and not damaging his career jesus christ imagine having a friend like that no words man like the 
the amount of violence I didn't act on a friend that said that to me would just not be, you couldn't describe it. It continues, it says, and that potentially um, other male artists won't want to fuck with me um, if I come out and talk as well. Oh, sorry, if I come out and talk as I'll seem like somebody who starts creating problems. Imagine getting sexually assaulted and then you being accused of stone problems. My word. Um, I'm no longer worried about any of the above because I really don't care anymore. My image and my career being liked or supported by male artists doesn't mean anything to me whatsoever. If it means that much as a predator is allowed to continue doing things like this. Agreed. I'm a woman of support and defend women and will never be part of the problem and allowing men like this to continue. I've been scared. What's that? I've been scared, worried and, and conscious of how this may taint me or my music in the future, particularly if I choose to make sexy music or appear in sexy fashion. That's just ridiculous. It shouldn't be it's something she needs to say, but I guess you gotta put it out there, innit? Like that idea that oh, because you put you put your goods out there that somehow men are uh, have free permission to go and touch you up is just insane. That's only a creeper. An absolute scumbag will say something like that. I think actual reasonable folk would never uh, expect that from anybody. Um, it continues it says um, but I won't be victim shamed I don't give a shit about anything 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 anymore by speaking up telling the truth and empowering other people to use their voice to seeing everything going time and today seriously triggered me and I won't allow you and whoever will support you to make me silent in fear oh she said it, it? she fucking said it and yeah so again sad situation all around I'm not sure how it's going to be dealt with I'm not sure if we're going to get any reply from Ambush. What can you reply with, really, to these kind of allegations? How can you really correct it when you've clearly not taken it seriously from the beginning? But hopefully it's a teachable moment for guys out there in the scene, isn't it? If you're going to be... If you're going to try... I would advise against, obviously, trying to hook up with your fellow artists, right? Just so you could, you know, uh, protect yourself and ensure that the scene is just healthy. I don't know. I think everyone hooking up in the scene can sometimes make things a little bit weird. But if you are going to hook up with somebody from the scene and they're a fellow artist, treat them with some dignity and respect, innit? Don't chat shit, you know? Don't disparage their name. Don't talk bad about them. And again, some boys do that. They get into that sort of catty thing where they start gossiping about girls and what they go up to and stuff. That's not what gentlemen do, right? Gentlemen don't kiss and tell. So all those things, just try and avoid it because it's not, it's not cool. It's not warranted. It's not needed. And especially in this era where... UK music is sort of like on the is sort of on the ascendancy, and we have loads of different artists making loads of different types of music, and especially girls, right? We have loads of girls who are really talented coming up. I mean, back in the day in Graham, there'd be like you know a couple of light skinned girls singing, and a few butch looking MC girls rapping, and that was it. I mean, it's spitting. That'll be that'll be it. Now we have loads of different people representing loads of different sort of sides of the black experience in the UK. The last thing we need is for these people to feel like they're in danger when they're entering these spaces, right? They need to feel as if like they're not safe. We don't want that. We want everyone to feel safe. Um, we want to be able to police ourselves in that kind of regard. We don't need an outside person to come and tell us what we're doing is bad or it's not good, right? We know it's not good. We shouldn't be practicing those kind of things or encouraging it in any way, shape or form. Again, I'm not a fan of people getting cancelled and, you know, core public opinion and shit, but you have to address this man you have to say something yeah you know i mean you can't be just letting yeah you can't especially when someone brings up i think because she she went above and beyond right to kind of tell him in private hey you did this thing to me this wasn't cool and you could use that moment to apologize profusely and make amends but that arrogance man it's just mad isn't it mad 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 but hey hope it gets sorted for ray black in general because you know brave woman for speaking out about it credit to you 